New health and safety requirements mean that we will be making some changes in the serving of Holy Communion. Recently a number of worshippers have been injured as they have received the sacraments and we cannot allow this to continue. In the past, two pairs of communion servers have taken the bread and wine to each of the two blocks of seats, with one pair starting at the rear of the hall and moving forward, the other pair starting from the front and moving to the rear. Under new rules governing the serving of communion, the two pairs of communion servers going to each block of seats will both start at the front of the hall. In the past, one of each pair of servers would take the plate holding the bread, this is often handled by a lady, the other would take the wine. As the tray of wine is significantly more difficult to hold, this position is generally taken by a gentleman or in exceptional circumstances by a capable female. Under the new rules, for each block of chairs, one pair will take charge of the bread and the other pair will take charge of the wine. Having been directed to a particular block by the elder on duty, starting at the front row, the servers holding the bread will take up positions at either end of the row. The bread will then be passed along the row from either end, like so. Once all of those taking communion have received the bread, the plate will be returned along the row to the server. At this point, those holding the bread will proceed to the next row, where the process will be repeated. Meanwhile, the pair of servers holding the wine will also take up positions at either end of the row. The wine will be passed along the row from either end in a similar fashion to that used in the serving of bread. These steps for serving bread and wine will be repeated, servers moving towards the rear of the hall until communion has been received by all those in the congregation who are choosing to take it. We thank you for your attention in this matter and trust that we will see fewer communion-related injuries in the future.